I have a question. Uh, if there isn't enough ATP to bind the magnesium, my guess is that magnesium will simply uh, flow out of the cell, right? Uh, yeah, apparently that's what happens when, when your thyroid is low. So the, the, the medical test, if you go to the doctor, they'll say, oh, let me test your blood magnesium. Uh, well, maybe magnesium in the blood shouldn't be high. That, that wouldn't necessarily be a good sign, right? Since it's an intracellular mineral. Yeah, exactly like uh, potassium. Uh, high potassium uh, often means that your cells are dying and letting uh, their potassium leak into the bloodstream. Uh, same with magnesium. Do you think there's any good blood test for intracellular magnesium? I saw uh, some kind of a company um, advertising erythrocyte magnesium test. Would that be a good one? Um, except that erythrocytes are mainly glycolytic in their, their energy system. So they aren't very representative of, of the oxidative cells. But it's undoubtedly better than, than, than just the dissolved magnesium. What about hair and nail test for, for magnesium? Um, uh, the nails are, are probably pretty good, uh, but hair uh, is exposed uh, to the air uh, and uh, any water that uh, you, you get on your hair uh, uh, and uh, uh, dust and fumes uh, uh, bind strongly to the hair. So uh, hair is a terrible uh, way to get an impression of what's happening in your body. But n nails will be better, um, and then for things like steroids, maybe. Yeah, especially uh, toenails, uh, where they're relatively uh, shielded. If you wear uh, shoes all the time. <laughs>